This is Bargoid, Bank Holiday Monday, the 5th of April 2021, St. Gladys' Avenue. So your mother Rita moved here on uh, when she from from really North Wales. Old was she? She was born in like twenty eight. So she came here when she was seven. Seven, yeah. Right, so that means she was living in this street in nineteen thirty five, and she was adopted. Yeah. Who's the family? No, what's, what were their last names? Uh, Adams, my uncle. Adams family. Eddie Adams, my uncle. Oh, right. So they are in uh, North Road. This is basically where it all started for you, wasn't it? Because your parents met just over there in the back garden of number 38 North Road. Right, and so how did they meet? On the garden wall. Yes. Talking. I was them pretty sweet, and when I was uh, Mrs. seven, Mrs. Remains. Mrs. Who? Remains. Mrs. 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 Remains. Mrs. Remains. Mrs. Remain. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Polly Daly living here, and Miss, Mrs. Rachel Biss lived here too, up, huh? Up there, up yeah, there. straight eye. Yeah, she's always in the streets because she had a people's interest at heart, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, Granny Hicks lived here, and um, um, Edith, Edith Hicks. That's right, I lived here, and uh, this is what I used to come up in the 1970s, it was I, and she died in March 1984, uh, North Road. It's all all to die, this is where they met, like in the back garden, uh, yeah. number 38 North Road, and she had a relative, your mum had a relative in uh, number 37, yeah. and they got, your, your mum and dad then got married in 1949. All right, that's what you told me. <laughs> yeah. This is Askerod, the Catholic Church there. Uh, can remember the shop there? The lady was June, wasn't she? The corner shop. Yeah. And you also used to go to the shop for, for Granny and uh, Mr. Jones, her friend. So there we are. She had that shop for years, didn't she? So he was born here, at number three Francis Street. Yeah. On the twenty fourth of May, nineteen fifty. What was the nickname of this street? Second Bobby Street. Do you know why it was called that? Yeah. Yeah, why? Well, people come, people come to the pubs one met the boy, didn't they? Chicken flag is in the street. <laughs> Dragon Bottle Street in the nineteen fifties. Sunday morning then was shorter because you spent me flagons. I had the flagons of, of, of Cider. Cider here in the street. I remember you telling me Vince Callaghan lives in the street. Yeah. Who else? Vince Callaghan on our side. On this side, sir, Vince Callaghan. And your friend is the Cooper? Yeah, but at forty nine. Number forty nine she lived at. This was in the nineteen fifties, right? Of course it's all different now. It's more, yeah. So from Francis Street, you went to the school here. What was it? St. Gladys's, but what was it called then? Bargrade North. North. And what are your memories here? Yeah, what about your, yeah. your sneaky smoker on the toilets? I, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that and who was the headmistress? Miss Cowes. Miss Cowes, you had a run in with her, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure that other people watching this would remember Miss Cowes. Golden Street, this is where, after you left school in 65, this is where you met my dad, wasn't it? Over there, the big house. Right, that's where you used to stand. Where that new, where that newish house is now. That's where the big house used to be. <laughs> the people down there do not know that. But that's where you had your first job. All right, was it? Yeah. Dad was on night shift. and Mum was on day shift. They caught it for three years. Married in 1968, and they lived here. 
And I was born in August 69. And that's when Mum said that uh, things started happening after that. Uh, basically the house was haunted. And nothing happened before that after, until after I was born. So the people who said that there's nothing going on here that lived here before, let's tell them the truth. But, but they were here before I was born. This used to be an orchard shed. Gladstone Villa was built in 1900. And this is one of the oldest buildings in Zimbargoid. And I want to this back to the 16th century. The haunting just came from here. Because this is a way to be haunted. Behind me is uh, the old police houses that were built in the 1950s. I grew up in that place, I've got some memories in there. I used to go to the studio here. Yeah. It was built in 1913. And there used to be a snooker. He's retired now. In 1947, the royal family came here. Um, she became the Queen Mother, and King George is here too. Don't know why they were here though. This is Bargoid Square. These miners' heads represents the mining history. Uh, yeah, Margaret Colliery closed in 1977. Morrison's opened in December 2013 as part of the regeneration that took place here. Lowry Plaza, named after the painter L.S. Lowry, who famously painted this town in 1965. This is the film that uh, was used as filming from Series 5 of Stella. Police station and courthouse, the main high street. Some of these properties are over 100 years old. Some of the shops I remember here are Bar Grid Radio, where I got my toys. Uh, Paul Fitz, the tobacconist, he had a hairdresser at the back. <laughs> Plus, this nightclub, I've been here many times, and I met Teresa here. Fiftieth birthday, and yeah, I had that in the fiftieth. And uh, today's my had a, a daughter, Samantha. The old Emporium, built around 1902. This was the place to come. This town's called the Metropolis of the Valleys. Snooker Club from the, from the old student. Uh, famous player Mark Williams used to play here and he brought Stephen Henry here once. Down there is, uh, was the job centre and this was originally the old Cameo Cinema and before that the Palace Cinema. That there used to be uh, the old Woodworth place. Uh, I heard that's going to be offices. Angel Lane. And behind it is St. Francis Church. I used to attend there many years ago. 